and we are at Max's at Eastman Place with a couple of folks who will be playing some music for us in about 10 minutes or so. <laughs> John and Bobby, welcome back to Rochester. And you've got a new concept called Star People. Why? It, now, is this based off the Miles Davis album from the mid-'80s with John Schofield, that's Star People? Actually, we don't do any material from that album. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we, the group was started in Buffalo at a, uh, at a venue in Buffalo, and the proprietor came up with the concept and the name, and we were like, Sure, let's do that. And then as soon as we started doing it, we we just got really into it and started really mining the, the history of Miles Davis's music. And and we haven't made it to Star People, the album yet, but we've, we're doing some things from Fee to Kilimanjaro and In a Silent Way and uh, Amandla. So we're definitely in the modern era. So pretty much the 60s, 70s, and early 80s era of Miles. Right, yeah. Yeah, we, I'm so proud to be a part of this band. It's like... When this band was formed, the idea was to take that music and then make it ours, not to try and emulate what we, you know, heard. And man, it has opened my ears and my head up to so much stuff, all because of him. He's one of the most musical drummers I've ever played with in my life, and he's classical, he's jazz, he's rock, he's a, he loves it all. He composes, he arranges, he's got a PhD, so he takes everything so serious and so beautifully that you can't help but get in it just involved in his whole psych as to what this is about it's nothing is minor to him everything is important and it's wonderful man so bobby introduce us to this young man here who this is john bacon jr and uh uh we met uh, he's playing also with my quartet and he plays with pretty much, he's the first call drummer of anybody around the area, both in classical and in jazz. And uh, uh, when we started playing together, I just found that, and this is five years ago, that there was something there, there was a musicality there, both tonal and rhythmic, not just rhythmic. There's melodies you hear and there's things, and it comes from his classical and his jazz background. It's such a pleasure to have that I've changed my setup of my quartet and he sits right next to me, right here, facing me, because I want to feel everything that he's doing. I just want to be part of every part of his assumption. He makes me play better. Well, we'll get to see this in the flesh in about five minutes or so. John, thanks so much for putting the concept together and bringing Bobby with you. You're welcome. And, you know, I have to follow up on his compliments and just say that I have to say that having played with Bobby, he's, he's a leader who lets me do what I hear. And that's an amazing thing. He, I don't think there's been one time in the entire time we've been playing together where he's ever told me what he wanted me to do. Instead, he just uh, lets, me, lets me hear what I, what I hear and lets me bring it to the, to the sound world, I guess you would say. I can't wait to check it out. You play drums? It's the way I'd play <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the stage.